Welcome to Homes by Vonda. Today we're going to talk about Bergen County Residential Market Update for the first quarter of 2022. And with us, we have our guest today, Nancy DeNicola from Loan Depot. Nancy, welcome. Thank you so much for inviting me, Vonda. I'm so happy to be here. In the first quarter of 2022, we saw that the average sale price rose to $819,307, which is a 15% increase compared to the same period last year and 6.5% increase compared to the just fourth quarter of 2021. The medium sale price of a single family home rose to $622,250, and that's a 8% increase. The medium rent price also rose to $2,300 a month, and that's a 9.5% increase to the same quarter last year. So as we see, the prices have been rising, and now we're going to talk about mortgage update with Nancy DeNicola, our guest today. Nancy, welcome. Thank you so much, Vonda. I'm so happy to be here. Just to add to your statistics briefly, in the first quarter of 2022, we've seen interest rates rise over a point. So <laughs> housing prices continue to rise, interest rates continue to rise, but the market is still very hot. So, and But interest rates, even though they're rising, they're still at an all-time low. So keep that in mind when you're looking to buy that you're still buying at a very low interest rate. Thank you, Nancy. That's a really good point. And every time we see a 1% increase in mortgage rate, what does that mean for the purchasing power for the buyer? That means you lose 9% purchasing power. Wow, 9% so purchasing power. And that's a big number. That's a very big number. So that's why... Um, as pricing continues to rise on housing and interest rates continue to rise, it's better to buy now than wait. We don't see any relief coming anytime soon. The market is set up right now due to inflation that interest rates will continue to rise. So as we see an inflation rise, interest rates will rise. Um, hopefully the government will step in and help out a little bit with that. But right now we have to be looking to buy your first home or your upgrade home. <laughs> Where do you see any new guidelines coming from um, FHA? Are there any changes in the amount of um, down payment limits for single family programs, purchases, or first time home buyers program, or investment properties? And um, also, do you see any changes in, in terms of um, limits in debt to income ratio? Have you seen that? I mean, I, I haven't seen any major changes come out for um, actually qualifying purposes, so like debt to income or anything like that. Um, so I, what I will tell you is that one new, I learned something new yesterday, and that is for people who are buying a property and selling a property. So now, and they need the, they need the dollars from the sale of the property. However, on the new property that they want to buy, they don't, they can't do a contingency because someone doesn't want them to wait until they sell. People can put down 5% do PMI, go sell their home, pay down their mortgage and get rid of PMI immediately. That used to not be an option. You have to pay PMI for a minimum of one year, sometimes even two years. But that is a guideline change that I just learned uh, yesterday that someone can, so now you don't have to do those contingencies. Put a small down payment, get your house accepted, your offer accepted, close, sell your property, pay down the loan, get rid of PMI. For investment properties, just as we used to, people wanted to buy in an LLC. While buying in an LLC is very difficult, another change is that you can buy an investment property in your name and in one year, switch it to an LLC. So all you have to do is call up whoever's servicing your loan and say, I'd like to put this loan in an LLC. So that, again, is a game changer because buying a property as a prime uh, as an investment with a conventional loan, your interest rate's going to be cheaper than buying the property in an LLC. So you buy it in your name and a year you call up and change it into an LLC. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. Stay well, and I look forward to working with you on many transactions, helping buyers to close on their transaction quickly and smoothly as we always do. 
we're going into the second quarter and good luck to all of us. Thank you. Thanks so much, Vonda.